Hello and welcome to Marketing Fridays episode 18. Today I'm going to be going through the differences between three major CRM and email marketing software and that is Agile CRM uh, which you see here as well as Active Campaign and Autopilot. So here internally I'm already using for our company for our digital marketing agency uh, Agile CRM and we love it uh, but there were some limitations based on the plan that we're in and we really wanted to test other email marketing uh, focused CRMs so or other tools in fact autopilot is not really a CRM is really just uh, more for automated email marketing and uh, then active campaign is definitely a combination of both like agile CRM it is both a CRM as well as an email marketing automation software and then of course the one we already use called agile CRM uh, which really has a lot of different features and we really love it for that uh, so in this video I'm going to be uh, focusing on comparing two main things the CRM side of things for actually using uh, the tool for managing your contacts uh, and everything related to basically the sales process uh, for managing contacts but only at the very top level and then I'm going to be focusing on comparing things for the email marketing automation feature so to be very clear with everyone watching this there's way too many features in all of these software I'm not going to be comparing all of the features uh, I'm going to be focusing on marketing automation and a CRM uh, for its basic purpose of getting in touch with people and reminding yourself you know what you need to do uh, for them uh, there's many other things like opportunities or deals and many other things related to the use of a CRM which we're not going to discuss here okay so let's get started let me show you here first how it looks in agile CRM when you're creating a email marketing automation campaign so this is how the actual user interface looks like when you want to create a series of flows uh, based on different things that you can do um, when you're creating a campaign in this case this is our campaign for requesting reviews from clients so you begin the campaign you send an email then it checks whether the email got opened or not if it did get opened then we can wait a few days and then we can check whether or not something got clicked and on and on and on right this is how it looks like uh, it's a pretty nice interface if I wanna open uh, here the settings I click on the little settings button and I can see in this case we're gonna be waiting for eight uh, days in this case so these each of these steps are called nodes N O D E S, and then if I want to go in here and actually edit the email, I can click on this little uh, icon. Uh, I can create both a text email or an HTML email. I can actually type in the HTML here, or I can click and load the template with a what you see is what you get editor, uh, which is pretty good. It's going to load uh, actually. A very simple editor but from there I'm actually also going to be able to load any of our templates that we already uh, built into the software so that's a really great thing which you're gonna see that other software doesn't have so you see right here this is the what you see is what you get editor it's pretty simple uh, but we can actually click here on templates and then it'll load the list of templates then I'll click just the one I want and it'll load my template there so that's a pretty good thing because I can actually create the templates first separately and then I can load them in here uh, which is something you can also do in active campaign but it doesn't really work the exact same way so that's why we're gonna be comparing these things um, in any case that's how you edit an actual email here on agile CRM uh, then you get to actually put you know who's it coming from the subject if you wanted a BCC or CC anyone else and some additional settings uh, in terms of the time zone and if you want to track clicks or not you can really get very specific into each email so that's pretty good um, now let's see how that looks actually on active campaign so an active campaign uh, this is part of what's called automations and this is what the user interface looks like uh, you can do a lot of different things as well in in their plans they actually uh, you can do an unlimited amount of steps and an unlimited amount of automations the limit here for this plan is actually the amount of contacts that are included in your account so uh, they start for usually in the light version 500 contacts but most of the time for their standard um, 
packages, it's minimum a thousand contacts. So for a thousand contacts, you can actually email as much as you want based on either one-time newsletters or campaigns or through automated email marketing, which is what I'm showing here. Um, so this is kind of, you know, I just created a few things just so that, so that you can see how it looks. Uh, it's pretty user-friendly and I like it. We're gonna be switching to this uh, shortly and I'm gonna tell you soon why, so um, stay tuned. So this is what the interface looks like and it's very, very easy also to add steps in between. You click the plus button and then you get to see a lot of th different things that you can do. Send emails, send a site message, which is like a pop-up. Uh, you, you can now also send SMS uh, or you can notify internal people or other people um, based on what's happening. Then, you know, these are conditions and workflow related steps. You can check, you know, if this happened, then do this or check this or check that. So there's a lot of different tools here that lets you, you know, check, for example, for actions, whether somebody opened an email or they clicked on it or didn't click on it. Um, there's like a lot of options. So this is really a really great tool to be very, very detail oriented for your marketing automation. So uh, you can, you know, obviously take a trial to see how this looks like. You can add scores to your lead score. Uh, you can do a lot of different things based on which type of account or plan you're in. You can also start and add people from one automation into another one or take them out of the automation as well. Um, there's really a lot of good things, including adding contacts, um, information based on tags, so adding tags, removing tags, um, unsubscribing them from lists, um, really a lot of the things that you really wanna do if you wanna automate your sales and marketing. So that's again, a brief look into that. And now let's explore Autopilot. So Autopilot is actually a fairly new uh, system. It's based on what are called journeys or creating a set of really, you know, steps that are gonna keep uh, the user through a journey and the user interface is amazing I really 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 love it it's super easy to move stuff around there isn't like a set structure of lines it's completely flexible and it really is great uh, this is actually one of and it also comes with uh, a set of journey templates or think about it as a set of automated email campaign templates so if you wanted to create a whole workflow of emails and then save it as a template you can do that here on autopilot so that's amazing that's something you cannot do at least as far as i'm concerned on agile crm or active campaign so that's a really great feature uh, so in terms of what you can do uh, for adding additional things into the marketing animation here on autopilot you can do almost the same on active campaign and on agile crm you know there's lots of different types of triggers um, based on you know information that changes uh, on a field or if people click on things or not or if they visit a page or not there's a lot of different triggers in here as well as a lot of different actions so those are pretty similar uh, both uh, systems like active campaign agile and autopilot they all have integrations with third-party tools and here autopilot has specific uh, integrations with salesforce uh, recurly and segment so there's a few things in here as well as for sending slack messages or sms in this case here on autopilot it's through twilo um okay so now that you've seen this i want to mention you know how easy or not so easy it is to create uh the email templates or the email messages first before you add them to a uh, email automation campaign so here we're on agile crm and this is the list of email templates that we've already created and that we use not really just for the marketing automation but for everyday uh, manual follow-up with our contacts so that we don't have to be writing manual emails all the time we just create a lot of templates and that's uh, a really great way to not have to recreate every message for every client so um, this is something that I actually love about Agile. So Agile CRM, you know, it's got the CRM as part of the name and for a good reason. They really have an amazing CRM, uh, which is not going to be the topic of this video, but as a CRM, Agile CRM wins 100% compared to Active Campaign or Autopilot, which doesn't even have a CRM. Um, so here is again the list of all these different templates. So it was actually kind of hard for me to find the email manager on 
uh, active campaign on autopilot I had to go really look it up and see how it is that you do it but here on agile there's a place where you know you click and email templates you see the list of all your templates um, when you are on active campaign yes you can also see the list of all of your templates as well um, but you can only have them in one category um, at least in the main template then you can create subcategories and sort them differently um, but not every email message that you use for an automation automatically gets saved to a template so for that you'd have to actually do that manually so here for example in this automation uh, this email that I created um, let's click on it here if I click on the settings I can actually go in here and save this email as a template so that I can reuse it for other campaigns but it doesn't get automatically created uh, as a template but you know you could which is a good thing all right so if you wanted to go in autopilot and actually go and look at the email manager there really wasn't a place for me to find it easily there wasn't the place right here on the menu that said you know click here for looking at all, all your email templates the way you do that here on autopilot uh, you gotta click on trying to edit you know any of the email nodes and then you gotta click on manage existing uh, in this case obviously emails and then you get to see a pop-up of all the different emails uh, that you have but getting to this email manager wasn't uh, so easy to get to so that wasn't so good um, but you know you basically get a list of all the different emails so that's fairly simple um, all right so now I've shown you the UI of how the actual automated campaigns look like I showed you now on agile what the email manager looks like I've shown you here how it looks uh, on active campaign as well as how it looks on uh, autopilot so for people that are going to be doing a lot of emails as part of their email marketing uh, strategy you know managing a huge list of email templates is very important so that's the reason I'm going through this all right so that's kind of it based on the CRM aspect related to uh, email marketing automation uh, now I'm going to spend some time on active campaign showing you the CRM part and then on the one on agile because on autopilot we don't really have a CRM okay so we're going to leave autopilot for now it's a great email tool uh, but it doesn't have a CRM so uh, here we are on active campaign and if I click on contacts uh, this is actually a trial that I'm doing on active campaign so it doesn't have actually most of our contacts It's going to have only a very limited amount of contacts while that loads I'm going to load the same here on Agile CRM to show you what the list of contacts looks like. Okay, now that we finally have the actual pages loaded, so this is what it looks like when you're looking at a contacts uh, information inside Active Campaign. You can see their uh, main information, then you can go here down, down here to look at the tasks, uh, notes, or any emails uh, related to that contact. Uh, then if you click here on send email, uh, you get to open up a little um, compose area for you to actually create a manual email uh, already here comes with your signature the only problem right now with active campaign for example is you are not able to choose to send a single email with one of the existing templates so that's not a feature that they have and that was you know kind of a bummer because I was hoping you know to really use active campaign for more than just email marketing so I am not really able to send a single email by choosing uh, to use a template I have to actually type the email if I want to do by one by one but um, if I am here on agile uh, I can click on the email and then I can load a template but before I do that you know I'm going to show you here you can see a timeline of everything that's happening uh, related to that contact it pulls all the information from Gmail in this case because I've been using Gmail for this CRM um, and then there's many other things that you can see for the contact which I will not uh, show here and on active campaign here you can also see the timeline here on the right side everything that's happening you can also see it here but the CRM really is much uh, more basic on active campaign compared to agile CRM uh, so we will not leave agile for our CRM purposes it's really great so I'm going to show you when I click the email of the contact then I'm going to get to the area where I can actually send a single email but 
The beauty of this is that yes, I can choose to send an email based on a template. So when I click here, select a template, I will be able to see the entire list of all the templates that I have, which is great. So I simply, you know, uh, get to choose an email, then it'll load the information. And once it loads, I just gotta click send. So it's pretty easy, all right? So to try to keep this video short, I'm gonna then move on really, really quickly now to the pricing differences between these uh, three systems. So Agile CRM starts at free uh, forever for 10 users, but a very, very limited set of, of features. Uh, but if you really want to start paying, uh, you can actually really afford it for $9.99 a month per user if you buy for one year, uh, which is what we're on. We have three users at $10 a user. We're paying 30 bucks a month, which is great. And you get to store 10,000 contacts, which is amazing. And you get pretty much all the features or all the really most important features of Agile CRM for a very, very, very affordable price. And that's great. But uh, if you go down here and you're really focusing on the email marketing part of it, which they call campaign workflows, you're only limited to five, which is very, very bad. Because if you want to do proper email marketing automation, five is not enough. And then for each of these five, you only have 10 nodes or 10 steps that you can create. And that's really bad. Uh, because for example, here um, or earlier when I was showing you the marketing flow inside Agile CRM, I was limited to 10 steps and that's it. Unless of course I upgrade to a different version or I could transfer one of the nodes to a new campaign out of the five. But still very limiting, which is why we cannot continue to use Agile for email marketing purposes, unless of course we decide to upgrade, but for this specific case, it's not gonna be worth it for us to jump from 10 bucks a month to either 30 bucks a month per user or 50 bucks. So for that reason then, we're gonna show you the actual pricing model of Active Campaign. So Active Campaign doesn't charge uh, per user, instead it charges per contacts, which is a different business model, but here, uh, you can get for a thousand contacts, you can get to pay $17, but you have unlimited sending and unlimited marketing automation, which is great. That means you can send as many emails or make your automations as long as you want uh, without having any limitation, but you can only send it to a thousand people, which is more than enough, especially if you're getting started. And as you grow your list, then of course the price grows with you, but that makes total sense and it's totally fair. Uh, in this case, for the light version, you get up to three users, and on the plus version, you get up to 25 users. So we're gonna be actually using a combination of both Agile CRM, because it's a great CRM, as well as uh, active campaign for our email marketing automation. And then Autopilot starts actually at 20 bucks a month, which is great for a thousand contacts. So price-wise, of course, Autopilot is amazing, $20 a month for a thousand contacts, as opposed to 50 bucks, on active campaign. Uh, the reason we did not go forward with autopilot is because it lacks uh, the feature called tags, T-A-G-S. So there's no way to tag people on autopilot. And because uh, tags are a great way to filter people uh, inside a CRM and marketing automation software, we decided not to go with autopilot. But active campaign and agile CRM, they both use a tagging system. So it's really, really uh, great that they are both very, very similar. So through Zapier, we're going to be connecting Active Campaign with Agile CRM. We actually, we actually already have the integration ready, um, and you know that's pretty much it. So to summarize it, Agile CRM is a great CRM, and it's also a great all-around software for marketing, sales, and automation. But based on the price you get very, very limited amount of emails for a campaign. Uh, so if you want to do a really complex email marketing campaign, you should definitely consider either Active Campaign or Autopilot. In this case, we're deciding to stick with two systems, Agile CRM and Active Campaign. And that's it for now. Hope you guys understood a few things and you know, this comparison was helpful. Thank you so much for joining uh, Marketing Fridays and I'll see you next time.